Hi everybody, how are you? Welcome, welcome. My name is Louisa Havers and I help high achievers and coaches become an energetic match to the life of their dreams, living at their highest potential and to have aligned success. Now, do you ever worry? I know I do. Things can come up all the time in life that really trigger us to worry and sometimes we can spend hours torturing ourselves as we run through the worst case scenarios playing out in our heads. So what I wanted to do today was to touch on the the interrelationship between worrying and anxiety and to talk about when you're worrying, I want you to associate it with visualizing and that will give you the motivation to stop it and how you can work with these energies and learn to reframe it and to create a positive visualization from it for your business or your life. So it's time to take back control. And I know that people often will use the terms worry and anxiety interchangeably, but they are different psychological states and how we experience them is quite distinct as well as they, you know, the, the implications are for our emotional and our psychological health too. Energetically, we hold them in our field and they attract back to us more things on that same frequency. So you'll have heard me talk about the makeup of your human Wi-Fi. So all the thoughts, emotions and beliefs are part of your personal energy field, creating your unique vibration and frequency, which is your magnetism and attracting back to you things of a like frequency and vibration. So we tend to experience worry in our heads and anxiety in our bodies. And you might notice that worry tends to be more focused on thoughts in our heads, whilst anxiety is more visceral in, in that we feel it throughout our bodies. I'm sure you've got experiences of this and people will feel it in different ways. Lots of people will recognize feeling that fluttery feeling in their tummy when they're feeling anxious. And you might notice that worry tends to be specific whilst anxiety can be more general. So just to give you some examples of the differences between worrying and anxiety. So we worry about getting to the airport on time. So that's a specific, a specific risk, but we might feel anxious about traveling. And that's a vaguer or perhaps a more general concern. We might worry about getting fired for performing poorly on a project, but feel anxious about our boss not asking us about our holiday. So we feel anxious that we're going to get fired. So that is more vague. And of course, sometimes our worrying can lead to problem solving, which is fantastic. And it takes us out of that situation. And then on the other times it can snowball. And it starts to make us feel really anxious and overwhelm us. And energetically, when we're caught in that worry state, whether that's about our self-worth, our relationships, our work, it causes us to make decisions based on fear. And they never go as you'd like them to. So we want to be able to calm our mind, calm our energy, so that we're able to make decisions from a place of peace and calm and infuse that energy into our decision making, that energy into our action taking, which then sends out that signal in our human Wi-Fi. So I want you to make a note of three to five worries that you have. Could be, just to give you some examples, worrying about not being enough to fulfill a new job, or worrying about not being enough to reach your next milestone in your business. Worrying about not having enough time to complete a project. Time's a common one for many people. Post in the uh, comments below what is a common worry for you or something that you are worrying about now. And I can guide you through how to release this. I'm going to teach you the energy alignment method and talk you through some basic principles there so that you can start to release this and change your state around this. I know for me, one of my big worries was I used to worry about what other people thought. And it's something I have done a huge amount of work energetically on. And I know exactly when it started. It was from something that my mother said to me in an angry moment when I was about about seven. And I'd made a really cool necklace out of red string and 
all the loo rolls in the house. I thought it was really cool. She really did not. <laughs> and I remember her saying, if people really knew you, they would hate you. And I don't remember what I was doing before, but something had wound her up and it culminated in this outburst. Now, of course, my memory may or may not be distorted around this event, but this is what I remember. So logically, I can understand where my fear of people really knowing me came from. And that turned into a worry that showed up throughout moments in my life. So as I grew up, I tried to pretend to be what I thought other people wanted me to be. And that was exhausting, I have to say. And any time I was wanting to be me, it would then trigger this worry and anxiety about what other people had thought because I'd done something that was being authentically me. So on the surface, I was being me, but my word was a whole load of worrying going on underneath. And I really worked on catching the thought as I saw it float across my mind and changing it. So I rewired my mind and the frequency and the vibration that I was sending out into the universe. Because you create what you think and feel, you create what you visualize. And when you worry, I want you to associate this with visualizing because you're creating with feeling and each feeling has a, a frequency and a vibration. So the feeling is the power behind the message that you're sending out to the universe. So let's dive into this, into what's going on for, for you. So you've made a note of three to five things that you worry about. And of course, if you can't think of three to five things, I invite you to recall the last time that you were worrying about something. So what was it about? Was it something in your business? And when you recall what you were worrying about, what were you expecting? What was going to happen? And how, how did it feel in your body? And I just ask you to reflect, what were you creating with this worry? Now, you might not have manifested the thing that you were worrying about, but you will have put into motion a manifestation of something on the same frequency. So Leanne is saying, worried about not having enough money. And that's such a common one for many, many people. So if, is that a frequent one for you, Liana? So you're worrying about not having enough money. What are you expecting is going to happen? So what are you visualizing with that worry? And how does it feel in your body? Now, we don't want to suppress our natural lower chakra emotions because this in itself creates resistance in our energy field. And you hold worry and anxiety in your solar plexus chakra and in your spleen and stomach physically. So what we want to do is we want to know how to feel these emotions, identify the root cause so that we can move through them, so that we can create and visualize the things that we do want because we attract what we, what we think about. So I'm going to guide you through some hacks you can use in your everyday life and an energetic release so that your human Wi-Fi is released from the worry and sending out a more congruent message of what you actually want to create to the universe. So Liana's recognizing that it feels awful when she's holding this worry in her energy field. So how do we stop these thoughts and emotions? And Liana's recognizing that she's holding it in her solar plexus. Awesome work, fab stuff. So you're going to find this really helpful, Liana. I'm going to guide you through how, follow this technique and you can start to release this. So I want you to remember this step to help you catch those thoughts like I did so you can start to change them and to reframe your worrying. So I want you to remember to be nice and I'll explain this. So N for notice, I for intervene, C for change, E for embrace. So to be nice. So remember this acronym, N to notice. So you catch the thought. I intervene. So you're breaking the association. So you intervene on your line of thinking. And this takes practice. C, change. You change it. And I'll guide you through this in a second, but you can use the energy alignment method to do this. And if you're familiar with that, this is step four of that process. And then E 
is embrace your new thinking. So you're creating a new program, you're re rewiring your mind. And again, you can use the energy alignment method or EAM to do this. And this is step five of the process. So I want you to remember, be nice. And to help you to do that, some people will use something to help them remember. So it might be wearing a rubber band on their wrist or a bracelet to help them remember to pay attention to their thoughts. So have you got, if you really want to do this, have you got a rubber band that you can grab hold of to pop on your wrist? Or you could use a bracelet that you can just make that association. So whenever you see that, it's like, right, let's do a check in on my thoughts. What am I thinking? So, for example, you're working on a project and you begin to worry about the deadline. And perhaps the worry is that you feel that you're incapable of meeting it. You see your reminder and you notice these worries, which make you remember to be nice and to intervene and change your thinking. So instead you think, so you, and it really helps to have these thoughts already prepared so you can literally just drop them in like a program, you're changing it, intervening. So instead you think, I have what it takes to get the work done in plenty of time. So when you're looking at what you've written down as your common worries is start to think about, well, what's the opposite? What is the more helpful belief that you're gonna to start to imprint? so that you are rewiring your mind and you can start to diffuse this program that's running, this worry program that's running in your head. Then think about how good it will feel when you finish with spare time and let that make you feel good inside. So that's just one example around working on a project, for example. So I hope that makes sense and you can start to see how you can apply that to the thing that you are worrying about. Often people will say to me they're very good at identifying the problem, the thing that they're worrying about, but they don't know how to rephrase it and to reframe it into the positive. So here are some general statements, positive alignment statements that you can use and borrow for your own as you start to work on this and to develop your own. So you might choose to have, I am naturally a worry-free person. I know that everything will work out for me. Everything will be okay now and always. I am confident that my life will be wonderful. I am safe. I am calm. I choose to be here. My self-worth is my birthright. I choose to honour it. So when you're noticing the thing that you're worrying about is picking a statement and you just notice, intervene and run the statement in your mind's eye. And you will need to do this a few times, but then you'll start to notice, oh, I haven't had that worry for a while. This is literally what I did to rewire myself, to rewire myself, to stop from myself from worrying about what other people thought so that I just cared about being authentically me and becoming happy about being me and letting go of all that worry. Okay, so let's reframe your worrying visualization. So I invite you to, to do this with me and if you're obviously in a place where you can't do this safely, then you can come back and watch the replay. So now close your eyes and I want you to think about the things that you have written down and to focus on one, one worry at a time. And picture the situation that you're worried about as if it's happening in this very moment. And before we go any further, I want you to get your heart into coherence. And to do that, you're going to tune into your heart energy. So I just invite you to notice your breath and to do some heart-centered breathing with me. So we're going to breathe in for four and breathe out for four. So as you breathe in, one, two, three, four. And breathe out for four. One, two, three, four. And again, breathe in for four, one, two, three, four, and breathe out for four, one, 
two, three, four. And as you're doing that, I really want you to notice your lungs expanding out with your breath and in as your lungs contract and getting ready for the next breath. So as your heart is in coherence, and you've pictured this situation that you're worried about as if it's happening in this very moment. Instead of allowing yourself to visualize the situation going badly, I want you to imagine that it's already going perfectly and without a single problem. Focus on how happy and relieved you are that the situation is going well. And thank the universe for giving you positive results. Now, for those of you where something feels like it's already going wrong and it's making you feel worried, visualize that it works out in some way for the better. So how do you feel as you visualize this new positive result that you want to create? Who is there with you? What are they saying? How do you feel? And know that there is some reason for the situation and that you will come out of it better, a better person. Think of it as the dark night before a beautiful morning. If you've done this, I just want you to take a moment to write down your new visualization so you can anchor this in. And you can see how in this exercise, in a nanosecond, you went from visualizing the negative to visualizing the positive, both visualizing with strong emotion, but one sending out the signal that you want to attract more of and the other one not so much. So what came up for you in that exercise? Any insight on to what else you need to let go of? And if you're worrying about something in particular, I want to guide you through the worry. Release all the resistant energy that you have created so that you can align and create more magnetism around what you actually want to create. And many of you in here will be familiar with the energy alignment method. And we use muscle testing within the energy alignment methods. So we use the sway test to find out what your frequency is holding. And if you're new to EAM, it's simply a technique that enables you to clear any resistant energy thoughts, emotions and beliefs that may be holding you back. And what we do is we clear these ones that we don't want anymore. And then we imprint new thoughts, new beliefs, new emotions that are going to serve us to cre and create more magnetism and results in our business. So it's a five step process. Step one, you ask your energy a question. This will all make sense in a minute if you're used, uh, new to this. Step two, you do the muscle test, so you sway. I'll guide you through that in a second. Step three, you assess what's going on in your energy. And this is where you're really finding out how you feel about it so that you're not um, suppressing these emotions because then they don't go away and you're still holding them in your frequency. So step three is key. So you're setting what's going on in your energy. Step four, we then release it using a releasing statement, which in its essence is, I'm ready to release. Then you insert the thing. I'm going to give you an example in a second so this will make sense. I release this from my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. And we do that three times because we're talking to the setting the intention with our head energy, our heart energy and our hara energy, which is just below our belly button, which is our manifesting hub. And then step five is once we've let go of all the crap that we don't want anymore, we imprint what we want. We imprint the new positive belief and emotion. And to have a really juicy step five, this really helps you to tune in energetically as you stand in the tree pose, like in yoga. So like this, your arms are creating a funnel, except you have your feet, you'll be glad to know, both firmly on the ground. So your arms are up in the air like antenna out into the universe. And what's happening is when you're standing in that posture, your aura is expanded as well. So energetically, you are taking up more space, you're opening yourself up energetically. 
Okay, so let's dive in and do this together. So I want you to think about of the, the worry that you wrote down. And I'm going to use the example here, because this is a, a common one for people, is worrying about where their clients are going to come from. So let's use this as an example. And of course, you can wor uh, work on whatever one that has come up for you. I know uh, Liana was talking about worrying about having enough money. So your question might be, am I worrying about having enough money? Now, <laughs> you might say, Louisa, I know that I'm worrying about having enough money or not having enough money or where my next clients are. I already know I'm worrying. But the reason why I want you to check it is because sometimes it's another emotion that's actually holding us back. So it's important to check the emotion. Does that make sense? So we're going to work with this example with it being worrying. So I invite you to stand up so that you can do the muscle test with me. And to do a really good muscle test, if you've not done this before, is to stand with your feet hip width apart, knees slightly soft at the back, hands down by your side, straight, straight up, look straight ahead and then I want you to close your eyes and to do a heart-centered breathing so you can come into your own energy a bit like you're going to do a meditation so notice your breath that's a great way just to tune into your own energy do a couple of deep breaths in and out and then i want you to ask the question and then you're going to notice what your energy does so your body is going to sway forwards or backwards a so sway forwards is normally a yes and a sway backwards is a no so I want you to ask your question about what you're worrying about. So in my example, it could be, am I worrying about where my clients will come from? So as you do this, just notice what's happening to your energy. Did you go forwards with your question, which is a yes? And did you go, or did you go backwards, which is normally a no? So we've asked the question step one. Step two, we've done the muscle test. Your body has responded energetically. So you might have felt a pull in your heart energy if you were being pulled forwards. Or you might have felt a pull in your back if it was a no. In your back heart chakra that we pull back. Dawn's saying big sway forwards. Okay, awesome Dawn. So we're going to shift that for you now. We're going to shift it. So the step three is I want you to assess what's going on in your energy. So as you think about that question and that worry, do you see any images or colours? Do you have any feelings in your body? So do you feel heavy in your solar plexus when you think about that thing that you're worrying about? So do you feel heavy in your solar plexus when you think about your current client attraction? So notice where it is in your body so that you can use that language when you're releasing it. So in this example, the step four, releasing the resistance, is I am ready to release this heavy feeling in my solar plexus when I worry about not having enough clients. I release this from my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. And then to do a nice deep breath in and out after that statement and then to do it again so we're going to do it three times in all i'm ready to release this heavy feeling in my solar plexus when i worry about not having enough clients i release this from my energy in all forms on all levels at all points in time and then do a nice deep breath in and out i'm ready to release this heavy feeling in my solar plexus when I worry about not having enough clients. I release this from my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. And then a nice deep breath in and out. And I really invite you to, to do that slowly so you're really going with the intention, you're creating new neural pathways. And you'll be really tuning in and starting to notice where the energy is shifting. It really helps with building on your intuition. And noticing when the energy of it has, you've let it go. So now we get to do the fun stuff. So what I do want you to do is to check that that has gone. So you can ask a 
quick question in relation to, so have I released this worry about where my clients are coming from or whatever your question was initially? If you've released it, you should get a sway forwards and if you haven't, you'll get a sway backwards and I just invite you to go back and do it again. And then when you've released it, you can move on to step five. So this is where we imprint the thought, the emotion, belief of what we actually you know, want to create. So we're going to do it in the juicy step five pose so we can really tune in to what we want to create. So your hands in the air, feet on the ground. You can do it sitting down, but it's better if you're standing up, of course, as well, because then your aura is even bigger. And you want to be clear about what you are calling in. So I'm going to give you a couple of statements here. I'll do two with you. And you can insert into the framework of what I'm saying, what's relevant to you. A nice deep breath in and out. Really tune into how you feel and want to feel more of as you say this. I am safe. I am calm. I choose to be here as I connect with my ideal clients who are finding me easily. I allow this into my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. And then do a nice deep breath in and out. I am safe. I am calm. I choose to be here as I connect with my ideal clients who are finding me easily. I allow all of this into my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. And then a nice deep breath in and out. I am safe, I am calm, I choose to be here as I connect with my ideal clients who are finding me easily. I allow this into my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. And then a nice deep breath in and out. Now you may have noticed as your arms are up in the air that you've got a tingling sensation in your hands. It feels a little bit like pins and needles, but it's not. I just invite you to bring your arms down slowly when you're ready down as that energy lands in your personal energy field. And just to explain a little bit about what's going on in your hands as that energy lands. So you have all these meridians coming out and out. They actually extend longer than the fingertips that you can see. So they're like your antenna catching like energy, like frequency to what you're saying and to the feelings that you're bringing. So you're feeling that energy and vibration coming down into your personal energy field. Your hand chakras are opening up. Your fingertip chakras are opening up. So that's what you can feel. You can feel yourself connecting with the energy of the frequency that you're sending out into the universe. Yay! that makes sense okay so let's do another one now Sasha's saying she always gets tingly hands yes me too and I always sway around so anyone who knows me well I'm swaying around as I the frequencies rising so nice deep breath in and out and this one is around self-worth my self-worth is my birthright and I choose to honour it. I allow this into my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. A nice deep breath in and out. My self-worth is my birthright. I choose to honour it. I allow this into my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. Nice deep breath in and out. My self-worth is my birthright. I choose to honour it. And I allow this into my energy in all forms, on all levels, at all points in time. And then a nice deep breath in and out. And really tune into this feeling of peace, 
joy, excitement as you allow this in. And as you do this, if you're whatever you're working on, as you bring your arms down, I want you to visualize the positive. So if you're working on calling in your ideal clients, see in your mind's eye your ideal clients excitedly coming into your business to work with you. How excited you feel, because you know the results you're going to be able to get for them. And how excited they are that they're going to have the transformation, they're going to be able to grow their business to the next level, whatever it is, whatever service that you're providing to support your ideal clients. So I invite you to post below whatever's been holding you back or what you might be worrying about at the moment and I'll give you some guidance on how to use this technique that I just talked you through so you can clear it. I am, as you can probably tell, in the UK, so my time zones might be different to you and of course impact the response times, but I will check back later and I will answer your questions that you post for me here. And if you're ready to go deeper and would like to find out more about, you know, what's holding you back from your aligned success, I have five spots for complimentary alignment assessments this week where we will assess what's holding you back, talk about where you want to go and create a plan for you to get there. And if it's appropriate and it's a fit for both of us, how working together will support you to do that. And if it's not, either way, you'll walk away with clarity on your next steps. So... For those of you that are ready, then drop me a message or you can, of course, go to my website, which is www.louisahavers.com forward slash apply, and you can grab your spot there. And I'll speak to you very soon. I hope that this has served you all. And thank you for joining me today. Sending you lots and lots of love. Take care. Bye bye.